getting further up on the podium, how, do you sort of have some strategy for that? Like I said, I've just been kind of focusing on what I need to do in the pool and I can't control what anyone else is, is going to go or what they're going to do. And because it is short course, I don't really know. I'm not too familiar with people's times and as I like I was for long course, so kind of focusing what I need to do. Currently over 176 different countries that are being represented here. What do you hope that some of the out-of-towners take away from their experience in Canada and in Windsor in general? Yeah, I think just from the pool here, Windsor's done an incredible job, and um, I know they're going to do an amazing job hosting the entire world, so I hope they leave with um, pride for Canada. <laughs> How's the water? Is it colder than normal? Or? Um, it was a bit colder uh, yesterday, but it's heated up now, so that's good. <laughs> you and your teammates, uh, mm -hmm. you have anything planned, um, you being kind of like the host yeah. athlete here? Um, no, I think we're all just coming. To, it's nice to get back together again after the summer and um, be all a part of Team Canada, but we're all focused on our, our races and then the relay races, so everyone's just preparing themselves for their races this week really rare opportunity to be, swim in front of your home crowd for a mm -hmm. world uh, championship. Mm -hmm. It's truly yeah. special. Yeah, it really is. And I don't think a lot of athletes have the opportunity to compete in their home country, let alone hometown. So um, I'm really excited to be able to do that. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to the crowd and the atmosphere here. Yeah.